On February 14, 2024, Valentine's Day won't just be about flowers and chocolates, it's said to be an interstellar adventure. SpaceX and Intuitive Machines are teaming up for an out-of-this-world mission. At 12.57 am EST, a Falcon 9 rocket will soar from Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station carrying Intuitive Machines' Nova Sea Lander, affectionately named Odysseus. Its destination? None other than our closest neighbor, the Moon. But what does this cosmic journey mean for the future? What secrets will Odysseus uncover? Let's find out in this video. The first private trip to land on the moon is a big mission that's going to change how far humans can go in space. Intuitive Machines and SpaceX are working together to make it happen and it's all set to take off on February 14, 2024, Valentine's Day, which makes it even more special. This mission is taking a different route than before, like Chandrayaan-3. Instead of going around, it's going straight to the lunar south pole. This choice is important because there are a lot of things we don't know about that part of the moon and this mission aims to find out more. The star of the show is the Odysseus moon lander. It's named after a famous hero from Greek stories and its job is to safely land on the moon. If it succeeds, it will be the first time a private company has done this, making history. But getting to the moon isn't easy. There are a lot of things that could go wrong, like bad weather or technical issues. That's why the mission has three days to launch, from February 14th to the 16th. This gives them some flexibility in case they need to wait for better conditions. If everything goes according to plan, Odysseus will land on the moon on February 22nd, 2024. But if there are any delays, SpaceX is ready to try again in March. They are determined to make this mission a success, no matter what. Leading the mission is the president and CEO of Intuitive Machines, who's been working hard to make it happen. With everyone excited and ready to see what's possible, we're about to witness something incredible. Odysseus's moon lander is packed with 12 major payloads, including six instruments from NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program, CLPS, along with six commercial payloads. This impressive cargo reflects a collaborative effort to gather valuable data and insights from the lunar surface. NASA's investment of approximately $118 million in intuitive machines underscores the significance of this mission, aimed at exploring the uncharted terrain of the lunar south pole. Once Odysseus touches down on the moon, it's expected to work tirelessly for seven days, conducting experiments and gathering data before the lunar night descends. This tight timeline highlights the importance of maximizing the lander's operational efficiency during its brief stint on the lunar surface. The launch window for the IM-1 mission spans three days, starting from February 14th and extending to February 16th. This carefully selected time frame allows for flexibility in scheduling, ensuring that the mission can proceed under optimal conditions. SpaceX's Director of Civil Satellite Missions, Juliana Schiemann, emphasized the significance of these dates during a recent briefing, marking a critical milestone in the countdown to liftoff. Signs of progress are evident as the launch date approaches. Odysseus was encapsulated inside Falcon 9's payload fairing on January 31st, marking a crucial step in the mission's preparations. Another significant milestone is on the horizon, with the fueling test scheduled for February 7th. This final check ensures that Odysseus is primed and ready for its momentous journey to the moon. However, if unforeseen challenges prevent liftoff during this month's launch window, SpaceX representatives have indicated that the next opportunity will come in March. Despite the meticulous planning and preparation, space exploration is fraught with uncertainties, requiring adaptability and resilience in the face of adversity. The significance of the IM-1 mission extends beyond its immediate objectives. As part of the NASA CLPS program, it paves the way for future human exploration of the Moon under the Artemis program. By leveraging private partnerships and innovative technologies, NASA aims to establish a sustainable presence on the lunar surface, laying the groundwork for humanity's continued exploration of the cosmos. In other news, China is gearing up for a major leap in lunar exploration with the upcoming launch of two experimental technology satellites, Tianhu-1 and Tianhu-2, alongside the Kuashu-2 lunar communications relay satellite. Satellite. These satellites are part of China's broader vision to establish a constellation of satellites to support lunar exploration endeavors. The Tianhu satellites will operate in tandem in lunar orbit, conducting tests to verify navigation and communications technologies. These tests will involve various methods, including satellite-to-ground laser ranging and inter-satellite microwave ranging. The ultimate goal is to inform the design of China's proposed Quachao. The ultimate goal is to inform the design of China's proposed Quachao lunar navigation and communication constellation, which aims to provide essential services for lunar surface operations. 
With lunar exploration increasingly in focus, various organizations, including Lockheed Martin and the European Space Agency, are planning lunar constellations to provide positioning, navigation, and timing services. However, these endeavors come with significant challenges, such as establishing connections with both Earth-based ground stations and lunar surface assets, integrating navigation and communication systems, and navigating the harsh solar radiation environment. China's vision for the Quachow constellation extends beyond lunar orbit, with plans for spacecraft stationed in circumlunar space and Earth-Moon Lagrange points. This expansive approach lays the groundwork for future interplanetary missions and underscores China's ambitions in space exploration. The Tiandu satellites represents a crucial step in building the infrastructure necessary to support China's International Lunar Research Station ILRS, a long-term project aimed at establishing a lunar base by the 2030s. As China actively seeks international collaboration for the ILRS, the development of lunar infrastructure could enhance its space collaboration opportunities and bolster its soft power and leadership in space. The Tiandu-1 satellite, weighing 61 kilograms, carries a dual-band integrated communication payload, a laser retroreflector, a space router, and other payloads. Its companion, Tiandu-2, weighing 15 kilograms, carries a communication payload. These satellites, developed by China's Deep Space Exploration Laboratory DSEL, mark a significant milestone in China's lunar exploration efforts and its broader ambitions in deep space exploration. As preparations continue for the launch of Quachow 2 and the Tiandu satellites, China's space exploration program enters a new phase of growth and innovation. Looking ahead, the future prospects of lunar exploration projects such as China's Tiandu satellites and the broader efforts to establish lunar infrastructure hold immense promise and potential for scientific discovery, technological innovation, and international collaboration. Firstly, these projects pave the way for a deeper understanding of the moon's geology, environment, and potential resources. By deploying satellites like Tiandu-1 and Tiandu-2 to conduct tests for navigation and communications technology verification, scientists and engineers can gather valuable data to inform future missions. This knowledge could be instrumental in planning manned missions, resource utilization, and even establishing permanent habitats on the moon. Moreover, the development of lunar infrastructure opens up new opportunities for international collaboration and cooperation. As nations and space agencies work together to explore and exploit lunar resources, they can share expertise, resources, and technological know-how. This collaborative approach not only accelerates progress, but also fosters goodwill and strengthens diplomatic ties among participating countries. Additionally, lunar exploration projects have significant implications for space exploration beyond the moon. The technologies and capabilities developed for lunar missions such as navigation systems, communication networks, and propulsion technologies can be adapted and applied to future missions to other celestial bodies including Mars, asteroids, and beyond. This expands humanity's reach into the cosmos and lays the groundwork for ambitious endeavors in deep space exploration. Furthermore, the establishment of lunar infrastructure sets the stage for commercial opportunities and economic development in space. As private companies enter the space industry and invest in lunar exploration, they bring new perspectives, resources, and business models to the table. From mining lunar resources to providing space tourism experiences, the commercialization of space offers tantalizing possibilities for growth and innovation. However, challenges remain on the horizon. Technical hurdles, such as radiation exposure, extreme temperatures, and the harsh lunar environment pose significant obstacles to overcome. Moreover, regulatory and policy issues, including space debris mitigation, property rights, and international cooperation frameworks need to be addressed to ensure the responsible and sustainable exploration and utilization of space resources. Despite these challenges, the future of lunar exploration projects is bright. With continued investment, innovation, and collaboration, humanity is poised to unlock the mysteries of the moon, expand our presence in space, and embark on a new era of exploration and discovery that transcends national boundaries and unites us in our shared quest to explore the cosmos. So, what are your thoughts about SpaceX's plan to contribute to lunar exploration with the Intuitive Machines IM-1 mission? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.